friendly fire hurts, but nothing hurts more than your own dog shooting you. Instead of getting mad, Gilligan still insists that Charlie, his 120-pound Rottweiler mix, is a good boy. This is after Gilligan endured several surgeries to save his life after Charlie fired Gilligan's shotgun from point-blank range inside his pickup truck. Fortunately for Gilligan, Charlie's aim needs some work. Can you beat that? On October the 25th, 2018, Sonny Tex Gilligan took his three dogs, Charlie, Cowboy and Scooter, out to hunt jackrabbits in the desert west of Las Cruces, New Mexico. According to the Sun News, Charlie got his paw caught on the trigger of a shotgun in the back of the man's truck while the vehicle was parked, causing the loaded gun to go off. Charlie got his foot in the trigger of the gun and I leaned forward and he slipped off the seat and caught the trigger. And it's shot. It was a freak accident, but it's true, that's what happened, Gilligan told the Times. The fired shot went through the driver's seat and nearly killed Gilligan. Gilligan still considers his dog a good boy, even though the shot shattered his collarbone, broke several ribs and caused him several other serious injuries. Luckily for Gilligan, he was still conscious enough to reach his phone and call for help when it happened. By the time that Donna Anna County Sheriff's Office arrived, Gilligan was a moment away from dying for real. If they had waited 10 more minutes, I would have died. I lost so much blood. I know I actually passed to the other side just before getting to the hospital, but they were able to revive me through CPR, Gilligan said. As a result of the incident, the local authority took all three of Gilligan's dogs to the Animal Service Center of the Masila Valley. 74-year-old Gilligan was worried sick for his doggy friends being kept in what he called doggy jail than for himself, Gilligan's son Mark told KRQE. He added, he is lucky he is alive. He spoils his dogs, you know. He calls them his boys. He's very fond of his animals. Poor Charlie, he's a good dog, Gilligan defended his dog. It was an accident, although they tease me asking me if he did it on purpose. Truth is, Charlie's a big, loving dog and would never hurt anyone on purpose. He went on to say that the sheriff's department said the only one they had trouble with was Cowboy. The other two were friendly. Charlie is the boss but he's gentle. The 74-year-old credits first responders for saving his life, saying he would have bled out without their quick help. He was then transported by helicopter to a hospital in El Paso, Texas, where he remained in intensive care for several days before being moved to a different room. Gilligan underwent several surgeries. According to the Santa Fe New Mexican, doctors expect him to make a full recovery. Mark Gilligan said he wasn't surprised to hear one of the dogs accidentally shot his father. They're kind of rowdy. They're pretty rambunctious and full of energy. That's why the owners gave them up. My dad has four acres of land so they can run free. So it didn't surprise me at all. When they see a cow or other animals, they want to jump in the front, he said. The ordeal hasn't changed the way Gilligan feels about his dogs. He still loves them all. Gilligan rescued all his dogs as puppies. They're all rescue dogs. Charlie was advertised as a free puppy in El Paso, Gilligan said. I got one of them at a flea market for $20 and adopted one. It's not the first time a dog is shooting its owner. In a generation with as many people, guns and dogs as we do, this type of thing is going to happen from time to time. It wouldn't be an understatement to say that at least one dog owner gets shot by his or her dog each day that passes. A greater percentage of those accidents happen during hunting trips. In October of 2007, 
37-year-old James Harris of Tama was shot by his hunting dog with his hunting rifle in a hunting trip. Harris was hunting with a group about three miles north of Grenell when the group shot a bird. Harris went to get it, he put his gun to the ground and crossed a fence. As he crossed the fence, his hunting dog stepped on the gun and boom, it went off. In October 2018, Stuart Henderson was on a hunting spree with his dog, shooting ducks. He shot some ducks and his dog went into the water to retrieve the birds. When the dog returned, he was assisting it back into the boat when the dog stepped on the shotgun and it went off, shooting Henderson in the leg. That same year, 2018, former LSU lineman Matt Branch nearly died after a freak hunting accident in which he was shot by a dog, causing him to lose his leg. Branch was on an annual hunt with his family and friends in Mississippi on December the 28th. Branch and several others loaded their duck hunting gear into the back of a truck, where his shotgun was lying. His Labrador retriever suddenly jumped into the back of the bed and right onto the gun, and it went off. But none of these incidents compare to the case of 64-year-old Sergei Terakov. Terakov and his brother were hunting rabbits in the remote Saratov region. Terakov's double-barreled shotgun was resting on his knee, with the butt facing down and the barrel pointing towards his stomach when his Estonian hound bounded towards him and bumped the weapon with his paw. The gun boomed into his stomach. Terakov died on the way to the hospital. As tragic as these stories sound, they come with a lesson. Be careful when playing or hunting with your animal friend. After all, they're still animals. What would you do to your dog if it shot you? Let us know in the comments section.